G'day YouTube. This is a quick rundown or a bit of a review on Deepin 15 Beta, the latest release or the latest beta release at least of the Deepin OS uh, Linux OS. So starting off, uh, I'll get straight into it, show you a bit around about it, see what it does. It's uh, it's quite actually a different type of distribution for uh, Linux in fact. Now starting off, the philosophy or as a bit of a background, uh, Deepin 15 is based on Ubuntu and aims to provide an elegant and user-friendly and reliable operating system. And let's just take a quick look around it. It is, being that it is in beta, it's obviously sort of playing up here at the moment. But you'll see just straight off the bat, it's obviously got a bit of a Mac doc uh, or Mac OS look in general. See, we've got the launcher. It's even using the same icon there, strangely enough. Uh, I don't think that's any coincidence, though. And uh, we bring up the launcher, and it's very, very similar, actually. So let's type in something if we can. Okay, so it's being just a little bit slow, but uh, we've got the desktop environment, which is a little bit different from most Linux distributions. It's using the Deepin desktop environment, which is actually based on HTML5. And I'll see if we can pop up something here. So we'll go to the display settings. We'll go across to home. Okay, we've got a lot of options there, which is pretty cool. The file manager, which I hopefully we can get into, is currently the GNOME files, but it is dressed up a little bit to look very uh, Mac OS-esque, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool to see that. Very simplified, very easy to use, which is nice to see. Uh, the Linux kernel is actually the latest and greatest, I believe. I believe it is running uh, 4.3, so I'll see if I can bring that up. Oh, great, the launcher is working now. Deep in terminal, see if that runs. Okay, let's just check out the kernel, which is 4.3.01, and so forth, etc. So, uh, yeah, latest and greatest, that's that's really good to see for a Linux distribution. Uh, many of them don't do that these days, but some of them do, so I'm, I'm really happy to see that it's keeping up to date with the latest drivers and all sorts of things like that. Also, the architectures that you can download and install this from is the 32-bit and 64-bit. Of course, I'm just running the 64-bit at the moment, so that's fine. Uh, now, regarding software, Deepin have actually seemed to have done their own thing where they've got their own Deepin uh, music. So here we go, Deepin music, Deepin movie, and quite a few other things here and there, Deepin store. And the store is actually where you download and, uh, of course, install and run all your software as well. So it's, uh, it's definitely a branch off, a bit of a change from the Ubuntu distribution where it's where it's based on where they use the Ubuntu software center so it's really doing its own thing there which is nice to see things going in their own direction sometimes forking off a little bit uh, so yeah uh, moving on then we have as you can expect I'll just see if I can punch up the terminal there again no it's a little bit buggy but the update method is apt so you'd in in the terminal you'd run uh, sudo apt install gimp or whatever you want to install and the package manager is dpkg, the same as Ubuntu as well. Uh, overall, this is just a quick video of it, uh, so being that it is in beta still, but uh, overall, it's a, Deepin is a, it's a shiny and different take on Linux with an HTML5 front end. It looks like it takes what is perceived as the best graphical features of both Mac OS and Windows, the Windows OS family and sort of combines it together into a single unified Linux platform and that's kind of what I like about it and uh, it's it's truly made a bit of a believer out of me now which is nice to see it's also in the top 20 of the the most favorited distributions in Linux at the moment so it was worth a mention apart from all the bugginess that you can see at the moment but all in all, yeah, pretty solid. Otherwise, distribution for the older versions at least, not so much this one. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope, uh, I hope I've hope i given you some insight into this Deepin OS. Uh, cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.